Good morning, everyone. Today's frugal tip of the day is make your own freezer pops for your kids. Um, you can certainly buy them, but uh, making them is a lot cheaper and you can sometimes do it with just things you have around the house. Um, you can get the little container things to make them with anywhere. I've seen them at Walmart, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree. I've seen them everywhere. So you can get the little freezer pop plastic container things to make them in and then you can make your own freezer pops and some of the things um, first of all I wanted to tell you that I got inspiration for this from Amy decision at the tight wad gazette um, so I just want to read a little blurb to you because I think it's so funny this is what she some of her suggestions about things you can put to make up freezer pops these are her her first few ones Homemade plain yogurt, especially what didn't set up well. Homemade jam, especially what didn't set up well. Leftover jello, especially what didn't set up well. <laughs> so she's really being super frugal. I told you she was. But anyway, some of the suggestions I have. Um, uh, like I said, homemade uh, yogurt. Um, she says homemade if you don't, if it doesn't set up well. I made yogurt quite a few times, and it frequently doesn't set up well. So you, that could be a frequent thing for you. But even if you buy it, like sometimes I buy a big quart container of it, and I won't go through it all, and and I'm afraid it's going to go bad. So you know, if you have a little bit in a container, um, and you think it might go bad or it's getting old, you know, make freezer pops out of it. So yogurt, um, jam, even if you have store-bought jam, um, you can scrape the container out or put a little bit of water in it and scrape it out and use that. Um, any kind of fruit you have, either fresh or canned. Um, juice from canned fruit. This is what I usually, you know, I always save the juice from these. I personally like to have mandarin oranges in my um, chicken salad. So I always save that mandarin orange juice because it's great in marinades or freezer pops. Um, so juice from canned fruit, juice, if you have like apple cider or apple juice or pineapple juice or something like that in the refrigerator that's kind of old and, uh, you know, it's going to go bad or you want to just clean the fridge out or, you know, you need something to make pops with, hey, use your juice. Cranberry sauce, I think that's a good one, a good suggestion. You know the cranberry sauce that comes in a can that you have at Thanksgiving time? That's a good use. Pudding, any kind of pudding. Um, Kool-Aid, I'm not really sure if people do that anymore. Um, I was never a Kool-Aid fan for my kids. Um, um, so her suggest Amy decisions suggestions in her book uh, were quite sweet. And um, I find my, my kids and grandkids, my kids don't want my grandkids to have a lot of really super sweet things. So um, I'm try well, I tried to think of some things that were not on the sweet side, maybe a little on the creamy side or something like that. And I was thinking maybe eggnog. Um, that's not at, out at the time of year that you usually have freezer pops. But anyway, use your imagination, guys. Anything that you think would, would work, hey, the kiddos would love it. Well, that's my frugal tip of the day, guys. Um, make your own freezer pops for the kids. I hope it helps, and I will see you tomorrow.